Hello everyone, I'm Evergreekly, welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're going to be doing the first episode in our Pokemon Ultra series, Battle Spot, um, ranked live. Now, in today's video, we're going to be using a very interesting team. The team is, if you can see, um, it's going to be a Primal, Primal Kyogre, Giratina Origin form, Crobat, Tapu Koko, Serena, and Incineroar. And we're going to see how this team performs. I haven't used it in any battles before. And um, let's get right into it. Uh, I love Garatina. I don't think we see that much use in it. I'm really excited to get into it. And um, leave a like leave a like, and uh, please subscribe if you're excited for the all series because I, I am really excited. I might sound a little bit different because I am sick today. Um, but I still want to get an episode up. But yeah, let's get into it. See if we can find a match. Um, I played, I think, one game. Yeah, I did. I played one game. So we'll see if we can find somebody. See if I can adjust the camera real quick. I think that's better. Okay. Let's see if yeah, let's see if we can find somebody. Um yeah, I'm really excited. I've been playing the format for I've been playing the format since December, so I definitely know kind of the, what the format's about, but I really don't know how to approach it. So let's see, hopefully we can find a match. Sometimes it doesn't it's not the best at searching for a trainers. But obviously our Kyogre's not in scarf. Um so I'm interested. To, I'm intrigued to see how Serena does, and my Giratina does not have Earth Power this time, which might screw us over. So I'm not so sure how this is gonna go. Like I'm really unsure because I really wanted Earth Power, um, and that might screw us over. If I had Earth Power, I feel like it'd be a lot better. We are gonna get someone a 15-19 opponent, and they have a. An uh, interesting team. I mean, it's somewhat of a standard team, but with Sigilyph. So we see the Groudon, we see the Incineroar, we see the Sigilyph, the Tapu Koko, the Salmon, the Xerneas. And I have the Kyogre, Giratina, Crobat, Tapu Koko, Serena, and Incineroar. Now, I feel like a pretty safe lead for me would be leading a, um, a Crobat Incineroar lead. Now, I don't think we're, I'm going to play the best today because I'm tired. I'm, I'm very ex I'm exhausted and whatnot. But, man, I could see the Incineroar Xerneas lead here. But my Crobat knows Inner Focus. I'm going to lead Crobat Incineroar with... Do I want Serena? No, with Giratina and Kyogre in the back. I like Tapu Koko. I don't have a Z-move on this team, actually. I don't like Tapu Koko. Um, and I don't really like Serena. So we're gonna go Crobat, Incineroar, Giratina, Kyogre, and if you like Scrawl, we can switch out the Incineroar um, for the Giratina. But if you guys are excited for the Ultra series, um, leave a smash that like button down below and please subscribe. Um, definitely, will be more excited for future videos. I'm just a little sick today, so I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try to at least get out some content. Uh, my head's kind of ringing a little bit, but uh, you know, hopefully you guys enjoy this. So we're gonna lead out with the Crobat, Incineroar lead. I feel like maybe Zern, Incin. And so do our sig Sigilyph. So we actually brought the uh, Sigilyph. This is actually Sigilyph. Sigilyph? How do you say that? I really don't know. I actually brought the Sigilyph. I'm gonna say Sigilyph. Sigilyph. I I I don't know how to pronounce this thing. Okay, so his Sonora is faster, I think. Oh no, mine's faster. That's nice. Okay, so I can just go for a Tailwind and a knockoff onto the Sigilyph. Right? Yeah, because I'm in a focus. Wonder what he's going for. Oh, we'll go for a knockoff. That Sigil Lift is slower. So we are going to be knocking off a mental herb here. He's going to go for the darkest of the riot. Oh, the double target into the Crobat. Okay. Trick Room. Sigilyph gets Trick Room. Oh, I think that might be a loss. I didn't know it gets Trick Room. Okay. Well, that that's... Uh, I, uh, I don't know. I definitely think we see Sigilyph switching out here, so I'm actually just going to go for the Super Fan onto Sigilyph. And we're definitely going to see the Garland come out here. I'd super fang and I'd go gear no. I'd super yeah, he's definitely gonna switch out I say he switches out to Grylon with his um sigilus. So I'm just gonna go for a super fang 
and a flare blitz and a roar I guess yeah he's gonna u-turn with the incineroar uh that's unfortunate okay this means Sigilith is staying in and most likely Groudon's gonna come in here ah, I called it wrong I called it wrong okay well alright He's gonna psychic my Crobat as well. Okay. I didn't play that one right. Um, hmm. That's interesting. I'm extremely tired. It's gonna. Gravity. Dang. I was expecting Groudon to come in on Sigil, and then Sigil comes back out. So that I was afraid of. That's what I was afraid of. Okay. I'll go for a uh, Super Fan onto the Groudon. I'll go for a. Uh... I'll go for a Roar, I guess. Into the ground. You probably fake out the Incineroar though. Yeah. Okay. That's not too bad though. I, I mean, it is bad, but whatever. I mean, there's nothing we can really do about it. Oh, I forgot to put Protect on my Kyogre. Oh, yeah, I did forget to put Protect on it. This might be an episode in which we get Molly Lop, but I do want to get the episode up. I'm, I'm very tired. Um, but let's see. We go to the Giratina. Uh, it's so cool to see Origin form. I haven't seen Origin form actually in game, so. Okay, there it is. There's my Primal. That's so cool. I haven't seen this before in game. Whoa. That's pretty cool. I like that. All right. I mean, he does have Precipice here, so that's a that's an issue. We are just gonna go for an Origin Pulse, and I think a Shadow Ball into the Groudon. Uh, Origin Pulse should be able to pick up the uh, nap the KO on Incineroar. Groudon could switch out, yeah. But Sigilyph does go down. It's gonna be Incineon Z. So, my opponent played this one well, though. Okay. Yeah, alright. That, that's that's alright. It's gonna be targeting down the Giratina, I presume. Yep. Uh, this might cave, but I'm not even sure if it actually does. It probably does, though. But yet again. That... Wow, I can't believe that actually one-shots. I'm surprised it actually one shots to be fair. I don't have ice view on this thing any anyways. Okay. Yep, good good game, man. Uh, that yeah, my opponent played that one well. I did not know it got trick room. That's interesting. Huh. It's gonna be ground on Zern. Yep. That's what everybody uses. That's why I want, I really like, I like Rayquaza Groudon. Ray, I like Ray Ogre, I think Ray Ogre is pretty cool, honestly. I really like it. Okay, so, I don't think there's much I can do here, right? Hmm. So, I guess I could, nah, yeah, there's nothing, yep. <laughs> I, I guess I Thunder Xerneas. But at this point, I lost. Yeah, because... And then he can GMNC. And I have no bulk on this Kyogre. So that actually just one-shots me. Dang. I'm not so okay. That actually just one-shots me. So that that's pretty unfortunate there. 
Yeah, my character is not bulky at all. It's it's the regular Scarf Ogre from um, Moon and Sun, which isn't bad because I'm okay. Honestly, I'm honestly okay with that. I mean, that, that wasn't that bad. I could have played that better. But certain certain Don is something that it, it's hard with this team to deal with, especially. And also, I, I'm very tired. I probably said that so many times. But let's see if we can get one win. And I'd be surprised. We did find an opponent, 1489 opponent from Aria. Ooh, this is interesting. Uh, the only thing is... The, a Kyogre literally blows back the team if I had Ice Beam. If I had Ice Beam, I blew, I would blow back their team. But I'm going to lead Tapu Koko. I feel like that's a pretty safe lead. And I don't really like Giratina here, do I? Mm, not really. I like Tapu Koko and Sinowar. Actually, do I? I'm not... That's Scarf Ogre, actually. That's definitely Scarf Ogre. That's definitely Scarf Kyogre, so how do I want to deal with that? I think like this. Yeah, that's definitely Scarf Ogre if I've ever seen one. We'll see what happens though. I mean, I'm a little intrigued to see... How I could counter this. All right, let's let's get into it. All right, Arya. Let's see. Crowback Kyogre. I think it's Scarf Ogre. I think it is Scarf Ogre. I also love Crowback. No, it's not. Okay. Well, I get off the tail end. And I go for a thunder into the Kyogre. Wait, that's Spax Ogre. It didn't Primal Revert. Or I guess it could be Barry, but... Huh. Yeah, you will you will see a little bit of Kyogres that aren't um, blue orb. It's gonna withdraw Serena, I'm guessing. Yeah, that's still gonna do a lot of damage though, so I'm I'm happy. Okay. Well, we are faster, unless this is a speed tie. But this should be doing quite a bit of damage to the Serena, honestly. I'm gonna say at least 40%. I'm gonna say 40% at least. Is around there. All right, we'll super friend the crowbat and we will go. I actually do want to target down the Serena as well. I feel like I should super faint it, but it's probably a berry. Well, I'm faster anyways. I'm faster. We'll see. We'll go see with that. Yes, dude. That's... Thank you. Should be berry. It's not berry. Heck yeah. That Serena is gone. Nice. Very happy with that. Okay. I'm very... Okay. Alright, sweet. Serene's gone. Um... Rayquaza comes in now, which is a little scary. Okay. Um... I feel like Rayquaza could protect here, but at the same time, I'm not so sure. But... Super Fang... Go in actually no. Super Fang protect. Yeah. That's what I'll do. 
I'll protect with Tapu Coco here. I think we're both gonna. I think we're both gonna be trading Super Fangs. Oh, it's torn into my Crobat. Okay, that's a good play. Well, I'm guessing now I'm gonna switch on to Incineroar, and I'm just gonna go for a Thunder into the Rayquaza. Oh, actually, because he Mega Evolves here. Oh, that was a bad play. All right, we'll see if we land it. Um, but presumably you'd super faint the Coco. I mean, okay. <laughs> <coughs> yeah, I told you I was a little sick. Alright, we'll take it. Alright, super fight me. I don't mind. Take that thunder, please. Can you hold that thunder? I don't think you can. Woo! Let's go. Okay. Sweet. Tailwind Peter's out. He has Tailwind up, though. I shouldn't fake out Crobat, but what I should do, actually what I can do is a really nice play. I can fake out the Rayquaza and kind of force a Protect, right? And I can fake out the Rayquaza and I can Thunderbolt, Thunder, the Crobat. Wait, the effects of weather disappeared. I'm such a dingus. I should have Thunderbolted. Oh no, that, that might cost me the game actually. That might cost me the game. My opponent has to think here. Do you protect the Rayquaza? Because then I could. No, you do not. So we do break the stash on the Rayquaza, which is nice if it does have it. And so Tailwind's gonna be coming out. I did not play this one well. Because, like, I should have Thunderbolt it. I forgot about that. Oh, I actually do land it. Thank goodness. It's not Sash. Probably Payapa. Probably Pyapa Berry now that I think of it. So the rain stops and electricity disappears. Um I'm just gonna go for a knockoff into the request. And I think he would extreme speed here. I am gonna go the crowbat here. Then I'm just gonna yeah, I'm gonna switch in the crowbat. And the match was forfeited. That's great. Heck yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. Um Alright. Well, Friends, this is all the time I have for, for today's video. I'm exhausted. I've said that multiple times. My brain is starting to really hurt. Um, so, but I did want to get this episode out, even though I'm a little sick. Um, but, yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy. We used Giratina. Um, it was it was pretty fun. I gotta admit, I, I do like using Giratina. It doesn't really do too much, but I do like using it. But anyways, guys, if you enjoyed the video, smash the like button down below. And please, subscribe to the channel if you're new. Anyways, guys, I'm Everglade Glade, and I will catch you guys later. Peace.